Good day over here, well. I got this thing working pretty well now. I've done some repainting. Got the dial pointer all nice and repainted. All that really needs now. So first, gonna buy some decent uh, anti rust to stop this rust. Apart from that, gonna get a new dial glass and replace that speaker. And this thing will be pretty darn uh, working pretty damn like new. You can see here I made a new uh, little uh, bracket for the back cover to replace the one that was rusted. It's actually worked out quite well. It's just a bit of a computer uh, PC case. Cut a bit of that out. Folded it the size. I measured against this one. Look at that. Perfect. Got some junk screws and tapped some threads so the original screws will fit in to the back cover. It's actually work, uh, worked out quite well. This repair. Turn it on. It's working quite well now. Bit bent, but I can, that's not much of a deal. Not much of a big deal. I can straighten that out. Yeah, we're going to the music for a bit there. Bit of a um, uh, dirty spot. Other than that. Name my head of a dining. Look at that. No more intermittent problems. There, but it picks it up quite well. Involved in the uh, remixing of these demos um, was going to be putting their hands there you to go. it. Uh, it's beautiful because it's so. Well, it wasn't picking really up uh, that many stations before, but now that any of this was ever going to see the light of day, the public would ever be. Just bits of adjusting carefully in the IF cans and carefully listening to that was just right, and then touching up the little uh, oscillator call here and the shimmer uh, caps on the tuning condenser down there. Very carefully, I found a sweet spot, and it seems to be working quite well now. Quite possibly recorded in his home of a bit of a um, song a lot of fiddling around, but that's not so bad. I think that there is 5 RM, I think. Red mark, so it's about 100 k's away, so that's not too bad. Got the external antenna hooked up. Toys and spreading Here's the uh, original case. I've got a door. Um, I washed it in the sink and some detergent, gave it a good scrub. Kind of got it a bit crooked with the glue, but I'm not going to break that and reattach it now. It's actually quite rigid now, so. See in there, got a. That, I might give it a bit of a buff with some sandpaper. Just give it a bit of a cut and polish, but it's very weak. This type of plastic is very brittle with age, so... so originally, because of the top of plastic, these are standoffs that the chassis bolts onto are broken off, so... I'm off to find another way to secure the chassis, and once I get the uh, speaker and the, uh, the doll face um, replaced, there you go, it's working quite well. Let's do a bit of a little DX, see how well it tunes on this side of the dial. Really weak station there. Story, thank you for bringing that through, Jeff. If you'd like to join the conversation, 1300 See what it's using. I think it's about 30 watts this radio consumes. 842-722. Shane Miller is from JB Weir. He's going to take us for a quick flip around the finance markets. Hi, Shane. Good afternoon, Nicole. Have you got a hero in your... And that's uh, supposed to be over here. It resonates over here most radios for some reason. That's right into the dial. It looks a lot better than what I did before. It's cleaned up quite well this radio. Surprised it actually uh, works. So I've actually 
uh, rescued this from being uh, left to rot. I'm actually quite happy here because it's worked out. It wound up as a budget measure. Mr. Wharton believes the trend. Well, there you go. Okay, viewers, that'll be enough for now, so thanks for watching.